welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. We are in the old city. We just beat a whole bunch of undead, weird, crappy monster things. Um, oh, this is the sunken city here. And I equipped some of the weapons that we found. Um, I did some shuffling around there. So this is the sunken city. Bubbleous colonies of fungi soften the harsh features of this ancient king, Amana king. It just says sunken. Okay, so it says sunken city, but there's no way to get to it. It doesn't look like. No. Okay, so let's retrace our steps. See if we can find more areas we can get into and get in trouble. I know, we're sickened. Um, this is the old... These are the cliff steps. Looks like we might have most of this already done. Okay, that was just a different way to get to Why it from not? where I was at. Okay. season of harvest is here oh we got some more dead people here okay quickly and quietly hmm. so these traps will work we can only do one at a time and um got it How do we even get to them? I don't know. How do we get to them? Over here? That's what it looks like. Okay. Oh, we got more stuff over here, too. Leave it to me. Okay, so we got to go up and around. Is that what it is? How do we get over here? Okay, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so ooh, we got stuff over here. Yep, I'm ready for reaping. I see it up here. Um, a rabid corpse eater. Oh, he's eating a corpse too, isn't he? Ew. Um. How may I help? There's more than one. I figured there would be. You come back over here. Um, you do your wording right here. Maybe. You do your... Okay, you guys just need to attack it. You just need to attack here, because they're going after Aloth. Um, you're going to do your blizzard. Counters fire is what that does. And you have blizzard. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Blizzard. Boiling spray. Overwhelming wave. Well, we can do that. There's no one in... Yeah, there is. They're in my way in front of me. Um... Where's your blizzard at? 
Here we are, Blizzard. Confound it! It usually works. This is the last. Let's do this. How may I help? All right. Lava rule beyond seek. <laughs> the Alpha Predator. They're coming to attack you, so do your thing on them. You like that? Okay, you're gonna have to do your right away because you look like you're. Um. Oh, I do. Creates a shield of holy energy around the planet, is dealing both damage and appliance, shaking to any. That one's done. All right. We got something interesting up there. I just saw that. Okay. Uh huh. So we have an exceptional dagger, fine stiletto, fine hide armor. Light armor. Hmm. Um. I wonder if that's something he can use now. Him. Because the daggers, I don't think I'm going to need. You. As compared to what you have. Yours is exceptional, though. This is fine. Rating is still a better rating. Force or recovery time zero. I don't know. It gives him armor rating is six, but this is. Five and then two is seven, so they're the same, right? But this also gives him against slash and corrode, where this one doesn't. Hmm. So, how does that work? Because he's got something totally different that he's wearing. I see. Well, let's just check, just just work on that and see how it, see how it goes. Um, we got more, an exceptional dagger, fine battle axe. I thought I just picked this stuff up, right? This one is an exceptional rod, fine hatchet, exceptional robe. Oh, okay. You get this. Exceptional robe. You'll get take a look at that. You also have a... You get that. And then the rod goes to you also. All right. You also have a rod, though. You have a water shaper's focus. I'm going to keep that with you. Um... Let's compare this. Wow, Key Baker's, uh, you have a, a scepter, one-handed. This is his, okay. So a scepter is one-handed. He could actually use a shield, right? I didn't realize that. The rod is two-handed. Uh, 
Um, penetration, eight. It does a hell of a lot more damage. What he has now does crush and slash. This would do pierce and slash. Chance to hit accuracy, five. Um, attack time is slower. Recovery time is the same. Brighten hit targets on critical hit. So knowing that he has, okay, I could give him a shield, right? Um, it decreases his accuracy by four. This is a small one. This is a small one. There. Now you have a shield. You are using um you're using a two-handed one. Let's give that to you. I can compare it later. Oh, that's right. I'm just going to look at your outfit. Um, so, armor rating. Oh, it's not as good. The exceptional robe. No. Mm-mm. Because he's got area of effect on his. So let's look at the rod compared to yours. Um, 20 to 33, penetration 8, range 8, attack time, every time. This gives damage, accuracy, leaping arcs, ranged attack bonuses, plus one time with rod. Hmm. It gives a lot more damage. Leaping arc, ranged attack bounces plus one times with rod attacks. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Guess I never noticed that. But I, is it really that important? I never noticed it, right? We'll see. Come here over here, guys. So what the heck is this? Oh. Come on, over here. Um, How may I help? Can you destroy it? Very well. Ha! That's it! This is futile! Uh, maybe we yeah. shoot at it, huh? It's immune. This weapon's no good to me. Okay, it's immune. Hi. All right. No, no, no. Come here, over here, over here. Um. What? So, let's do yes. a fireball on it. Ah, thick wood than rock. That's not very helpful. Hmm. It is damaged. It needs to be crushed. What do you need? Well... You have my attention. <laughs> it makes no difference! <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> immune. Okay, so I think that other one had crush on it, right? No, something I had had crush on it that I got rid of. Yours has crush. So why isn't it doing anything? Hmm. How may I help? <laughs> Very well. It makes no difference. <laughs> Severely damaged. No problem. This does not work. But one of you was um, oh. was damaged yeah. because it's severely damaged. Um. So. Difference. Behold me, mother. Is it just all immune? Okay, so how do we kill this thing? Get rid of it. Hmm. Yes, Captain. Yes. Why are you all all can? Destructive channeling. 20% of damage deals is applied to self as raw damage. Is that we all have that now? Because we were next to it. Okay. There's got to be a way to kill what? it. Oh, we went right back at him. Oh my gosh. So everything you do against it, it does to its backs towards you. You need something. Hmm, interesting. Um. Happy to oblige. Come on, down over here. All right, come on. You gonna let me do it? Now you let me do it. Why not? All right. Hmm. So let's do a rest first. We still have the accuracy against us. Curse of darkness. Hmm. Is that what that is? Sigil of darkness. Real quiet now. I don't know what that all entails. Okay, I know that there's some things down here again. Down over here that we couldn't get to before. Okay, you just don't know how to get around to anything. Okay. There were some creatures, no, over here. Real quiet now. I think they were up here. Sure. 
Oh, okay. Go on. Got to go down this way. Okay. Cape. Porch, pry bar. Okay, we're down all the way to the bottom. Looks like we are. Trouble up ahead. Yep, there they are. There they are. I knew there was some up here. Yeah. Um. Worthen raw. And you're going to do your bouncing Bettys. Lava, this is futile. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. I figured there would be. Okay. And then you're going to do your blizzard. Uh. Oh, uh. No, you're not going to do your blizzard. Yeah. Okay. She went up there. <clears throat> It's like, why? Why did you go up there? Um, where are you at? That's Eater. Yeah, you're down here. You need to get away from them. Okay. Um, you sure something for the laws call upon the souls of those that have agreed to follow their presence distances all those in the area distracts okay um use your weather powers to gaze through your targets eyes deep into their souls temporarily fighting them where are you at this is okay that's you up here fighting this one it's fairly damaged you know um I'm dying again, Jesus. You like that? I just told you to take a pill or a potion. Unless I'm already dead. I'm dead. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Where are you guys all going? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Love. The old seek. Well, now she's got two of them up there on her. Really? That's not the. Yeah. All right, that one's done. You come up here and help her. <laughs> Yeah, she's dying up there, guys. Ah! 
You weren't you able to do your thing on? Come on. There you go. This is Eater. Oops. Come on, girl. I don't think I'm clicking on the people that I should be clicking on. There she is. Okay. Um. Empowering yourself. Aloth, up here. Darkness yes, I know. I'm trying to get you to do something here, and you're not doing it. Oh, a lot. I think it's because I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Needs a yep, she's done. <laughs> Alright guys, it's up to you. Lava beyond seek. That's not very helpful. Lava beyond seek. So who is that? That's her. But it looks like she's still fighting, which doesn't make any sense. Curses. This does not work. Why is it not working? Potion of Spirit Shield. Why do you have Ripple Sponge? Are these any of them getting done? Getting hurt at all? This one is almost near death. Okay, that one's done. Now we can go. We can all concentrate on this one. There. Sometimes. From what I understand, if you die five times in a row, or if you die five times without resting, you are um, officially dead. Then. So if you die too many times without resting, then you're dead. Okay, so we got fine hunting bow and fine leather armor. Okay, um. If you insist. Why are you being all testy with me? Okay, so are we done down here then? Looks like we are. Well, there's something blue up here. What is that? Leave it to me. Oh. 
okay. So I think we got all the area here in the old city. So we're going to go back to Cliff Steps or Old City Ruins. No, let's go back to the Old City Ruins if we can. Save just in case. Because there was also another way down, I think, too, from the Old City Ruins. Oh, no, it actually came, it came up here. Okay. But did we didn't find the mosaic piece, did we? Hmm. Old City Overlook, Old City Ruins. No, we didn't. Sure. So this, this is going to take me back to the old city. So where is the mosaic piece at? Hmm. The sunken city. Well, there's a whole bunch of area up here I didn't get into yet. So it's got to be up here somewhere. Don't you think? We thought we got to everything. Maybe it's a stupid thing here. Come on. Well, get over here. No, 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 get over here. It says it's severely damaged. So how do I how do I get rid of it? How may I help? Ha! This is futile. Well, you are making this dent on it, nearly destroyed. Come on. Okay. So we did do it. If you insist. But what's here? Nothing. Uh oh, there's something over here I missed. Come on, guys, over here. Uh, fine dagger. So I don't know what that had to do with anything. Oh, okay, this is an area we didn't get into. And where does this go? Chamber of Tides. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Next to the sealed door is a statue of a woman cracked and overgrown with moss. Both of her arms are extended towards you, but one of her hands is missing. 
You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. It's the cornet of waves. A sound like a gentle crashing surf is coming from the konek. Inspect the statue. It looks like a hana, representation of Andra. Her robes hang like sheets of water, pooling around her feet like rippling currents. You examine the spot where her missing hand should be. Yet the stone of her empty sleeve feels smooth, as if her sculptor had never shaped a hand there to begin with. Her only hand is open the palm up as if to receive something. The sound of waves grow louder and stronger. Place the con conch in the statue's open hand. As you do, the thunderous percussive music of a stormy sea spills out of the con conch, conic. It rises into a wordless melody that reminds you of voices heard from underwater. I got frostbite. She has frostbite too. As the song reaches its crescendo, a deeper rumble fills the air and rattles through your bones. You take the shell back as the music fades. I imagine this is going to open the door. Okay, so this is where the mosaic piece is at. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. That looks like a big, humongous, nasty looking starfish. Keep it down. Sure. It's just hard to be a farmer and not be thinking about revenge right now. Giant cape crab. So it's resistance to my um Well We've put fire on it. I don't know if you want to even go next to it, to be quite honest, right? I think you have a boat. Yeah, you do. Oh my god, okay. Does that do any damage to it? Okay. You need to come up in here and help him. Um, and I'm like almost dead. Okay. You are gonna do This is futile! Ah! Let's go! How'd I miss? Oh. Where are you at? Um... Oh, we got more shit coming at us over here. Another withers on the oh, and I'm dead. Damn it. We doing any... It's healthy as hell. Oh my god, it's a level three. Okay. Uh. Um... Did you, did you do your blizzard on it? Interfering strikes, hostile effects. It's a weakness against intellect afflictions. I have no idea what that is. Um. Ah, the tax to my limit. Need to 
Oh oh. Um. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to get close to it. I was afraid something like this was going to happen. Um. Damn. Damn. Hmm. This is Aloth, right? It's not attacking you. Well, we only got three of you left. And she had the health potions. <laughs> this is futile! Tattered Bells. Quick strike of crushing force, dealing little damage, but having a high chance to enter disrupt enemy spellcasters. Okay, that's all that does. Um, twin stones. <laughs> did it do any damage to it? It did do a little damage, but not much. Um. Didn't you take your stuff? I told you to take your... Oh, oh, he just spit... What did you do? Grab one of them? You did. You just grabbed Aloth. Okay. You did. Wow. And look at all the cave grubs coming out. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we know where it's at. We just need to get leveled up higher. Mm-hmm. Okay. We know where you're at. Which is the closest? I don't know. No problem. Here again, this would be so nice to have fast travel, wouldn't it? I wonder if I could go to do the old city lift, actually. Is she, is she gonna let me out over here? If she doesn't let me out, then I'm going to have to do that. I'll have to go through the old city lift. Oh, but it may not be down. Hmm. You're just going to have to wait here a while, girl, because... We know where it's at. We just got to get leveled up enough. Right? Now oh, where am I at? Ancient. Okay, I need to come over here. No, actually, we need to come this way. Um, let's save because we have to shimmy across. Use the rope to shimmy across the water. You and your companions begin the awkward hand over hand climb across the gap. Complete success. Everyone reaches the opposite dock without incident. That's because we have athletics. Okay, now we can get the hell out of here.
And we need to go back to um, the palace to talk to the prince about what we found in the gullet, in the narrows. Oh, where are we at? Here we go. Can we hire that assassin to um, kill someone for us? <laughs> Who? I don't know yet. I mean, he's there for a reason, right? Um, no, we're going to go to the gullet. Come on. And then... Can I ask you something personal? Makara, do not hold back, my friend. You sure? Sometimes I ask things that get people riled up without meaning to. Well, if it riles me up, then I say you have my undivided attention. <laughs> All right. Is there any kind of ocean critter I shouldn't be eating in front of you? He didn't have anything to say to that. <laughs> he didn't have anything to say to that. That's too funny. Um, okay, so now we know we can come down in the old lift. And this takes us to Nikitaka. Or do we just want to go up? Well, this does too, either or. It just takes us to different areas. We're closer here. <laughs> yeah, you left him speechless. That's just too funny. Okay, so we need to go to um, up here. Hope we don't get accosted along the way. See, it always does this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know why. Maybe because it's going around? It just makes no sense. Okay. So we need to go up here to... He was down here, I believe. We're gonna get accosted. We got, we have that person in, um, oh, Queen's Birth that we have to go to. And I think there was an area we didn't go to in Queen's Birth either. Okay, so let's go talk to the prince. See if we can get that quest done. He should be up here. Yep, here he is. Kira, but have you pried any secrets from the gullet yet? Um, the prince of... The Principi are smuggling cargo via the Undercroft. I'm going to tell him the truth. Undercroft. A darker, more fetid layer of Nekataka, I say. He cradles his chin in his palm, looking off into the distance. Only Kaza and I are the mind and heart of the city, but the bowels, these we cannot reach. What say? Did Ngati's chosen learn anything from the voyage below? My prince, I have always known those who pray for Ngati's favor, but only now do I see those who depend on it. Akira, I say that a feather of Amira's wisdom drifted down to find you. At least Delva's row is a stable target. The crown has time to decide the next steps. For what is worth, I think Delva's row should remain untouched. I agree. Water shapers were helping the pirates bring <coughs> in ships. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think um, they should be left untouched. What say? You hit upon my curiosity. Speak on. Um... 
The Ropa are barely in control of their lives as it is. Don't take that away from them. Elise is keeping the Ropa's, Ropa busy and sending coin through Nikitaka. I think the coin is going to be more to him. Foreign coin. He waves his hand as if he, a stench wafted into the palace. More than enough blood money has flowed up the mountain of late. I would hear counsel from Ngati's chosen. And the question of the gullet goes deeper than the queen's law. He aims a nervous look in your direction. The black market is something the Roparu built to survive. It was not thrust upon them, I say. Autonomy. It is the closest thing we have to healthy cooperation with outsiders. Nikarka excels and waits for the prince's reaction. I see that your time in the gullet left its mark. Ikira, my mind is with Ngati's chosen. Delva's row is safe for now. He glances toward the entrance doubtfully, but shrugs in spite of himself. Takehu, be sure that I do not regret this. You may count on it, my prince. <clears throat> Water shapers were hoping the pirates bring in ships. To Kehu, I say that no one wanted to hear your suspicions confirmed. Akara, me least of all, my prince. When it comes to the dignity of the guild, the crown can compromise nothing. Onikaza will see their leadership disciplined, I say. Um, say nothing. Onikaza and I both expect more from the guild, I say. She will not be pleased. He shakes his head and sighs. I gained 1,500 copper. Ikira, but at least you return to me in one piece. You are not the first agent I sent to the gullet, but you are the first to return. He grins in spite of himself and claps you on the shoulder. I cannot say that I desire to send you to worse places than the gullet, but... Oh no, he trails off and scratches the back of his head. But you're going to anyway, right? Yep. Kira, my apologies. <laughs> Does the name Ukaizo mean anything to you? Ukaizo. Ukaizo is a mythical island rumored to be somewhere in the dead fire. Some legends regard Ukaizo as a wellspring of Hana culture. Others tell of riches beyond measure. The prince's face is impassive, but he seems to be studying yours with close attention to detail. Mm, a lost city, if local fables are to be believed. Yeah, I think we have heard of it. Fable? No. History, I say. Ukaizo was the home of the Hwana before cataclysm and destruction wiped the island from the dead fire. That is the story. Story or no, I make no secret that we search for Ukaizo. He studies you, allowing his words to sink in. Our tribes are spread across many isles, but it is Ukaizo which binds us. Ukaizo and the knowledge that we must return. Yeah, very much like the elves. Mm -hmm. To that end, a local cartographer secured a lead. A breadcrumb to a breadcrumb, I say. I sent an expedition to Matario Cozy, one of the sanctuary isles. They were to retrieve evidence of our lost homeland. They have yet to return. Um, there won't be a stone unturned on. Okay, I trust you'll relay my helpfulness to the queen. Sanctuary Isles? They were sites where our ancestors grouped in terms of crisis. Constants in changing seas. It's supposed to be in times of crisis, not terms. It sounded like you said terms. You have the cartographer a temple to thank. He wanders the western shrine if you would know more. The prince makes a dismissive wave toward the door. What makes you think that island contains evidence of Ukazo? The sanctuary isles give comfort and guidance to sailors on the long journey home. I am hoping the island can remember its purpose and return us to the home we lost. So how does the island, how has the island remained hidden all this time? The question for those with years to gather reeds and scribe their thoughts. He smooths back his hair and sighs. It might be that someone or something on the island does not wish to be found. That is probably the 
something. <laughs> More than someone, yeah. In better times than these, I would have been happy to oblige. Should I expect any resistance? The trading companies would not have thought to look for Matari or Kozi, but now they are vultures to carry in. I do not doubt that our rivals race for the same thing, all while we fall behind. No further questions. Ikera, then you are ready to depart? I trust you'll relay my helpfulness to the Queen. Naturally, I say, my sister remembers her friends. I remember her enemies. He winks at me. To hmm. King, I trust you are going. I want the tribes to know that Ngati's chosen stood among those who threw open the gates of Ukaizo. He turns hopefully a hopeful glance. I make no promises of dirtying my hands in some fetid jungle, but I do not protest a calm voyage. They don't like him. Before you go. He lowers his tone and glances to the left and right. That did seem like too nice a way to end it. <laughs> oh, I really like you. The expedition. I have reason to believe they will not be returning to Nakataka. So you are sending me to certain death. <laughs> you forget yourself, but I am more forgiving than my sister. Pride, pride. We found this at the palace doorstep, cut from the robe of the expedition leader. He reaches into his pocket and draws forth a wad of red-stained uh, bark cloth. One mystery heaped on another, I say. He, d he drags his thumb over the cloth and frowns to himself. Um... Let me see that. I might be able to learn something from it. Nodding, he relinquishes this scrap. A fragment of essence clings to the fabric like a thread woven too tightly to be unraveled. Trees tower above you and ropey vines stretch like tentacles across a marshy rune. It, all, it takes all of your strength to drudge through the hip deep water. You glance over your shoulder, but the women and men of your company aren't there. Then a shape moves off into the distance. You drop your you draw your weapon, feeling now more alone than ever. The vision departs, leaving you with a deep pit in your stomach and the phantom sensation that nothing has gone as it should have. The prince regards you expectantly. I couldn't um nature is restless on this island, but I can guess nothing more. I suspected this, as you say. Take care if you alight on Matari Okozi. My fear is that the island is sanctuary no more. Sighing, the prince folds the cloth with reverence. Prepare yourself for a hard voyage northeast of Nekataka. Matari Okozi is nestled in the Kua of Rokuhu Islands, in the midst of a landmass that resembles a storm, like the fall of Ukaizo locked in time. He bites his thumbnail and turns away, lost in thought. Certain death it is, then. Yep, certain death it is, then. New quest, the last sanctuary. Hmm. Okay. Of course it isn't going to be easy, right? Okay, we need to go to Queen's birth. Do we want to try to fight that spirit, um, soul spirit in the sacred stair or not? Hmm. Road south. Um. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to kill her. Are we more equipped for that now? What was her name? Lady Aspero. Let's look and see. It was a bounty for Lady Aspero. Um. Oh, it's saying we might be able to do her now. It's two levels higher than your character's current level. Proceed with caution. But we're here. You know? <clears throat> you know, we get one more of those off of my 
request list. Of course, I'd have to go back to the person who gave it to me, and I don't remember who it is. So, <clears throat> we can try it. But that's going to be in another episode. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.